Hi friends, welcome to my channel Sara's Crochet. Today we will see a beautiful lace pattern. For this I am using crochet hook of size 2.5 mm. Here I am using Nako brand yarn. Start your work with a slip knot. Work 10 chain. Join first and last chain by slip stitch. Now you have to work 6 chain. Plus 3 chain for turning. This will be considered as one double crochet. Now from the fourth chain you have to work one double crochet in each chain. Now work 3 chain, turn your work, now we have to work 1 double crochet in next 6 chains. You have to work the last double crochet in top of the third chain. Now we have 7 double crochet including the first 3 turning chains. Now you have to work 6 chain. Yarn over hook 3 time, pull a loop from the front loop of the chain, yarn over hook and pull through 2 loops, repeat them 3 time. Now we have worked 1 double triple crochet, now you have to work 6 chain plus 3 chain for turning from the 4th chain you have to work 1 double crochet 6 times Now work 3 chain, turn your work, again we have to work 1 double crochet in next 6 chains.
now we have to work sixteenths plus one double triple crochet for double triple crochet you have to yarn over hook three times pull a loop from the front loops of chain yarn over and pull through two loops four times you have to repeat the same pattern for your desired length now you have to work 10 chain join them below the first chain by slip stitch now again you have to work 6 chain join in one of the corner and make a slip stitch now we have to work one double triple crochet in the chain space now work 4 chain join below the first chain by slip stitch after this work 1 chain again you have to work double triple crochet work 4 chain join below the first chain by slip stitch then work one chain you have to work the same pattern for six times now i have completed working them six times now for the seventh one you have to work only one double triple crochet then you have to make one slip stitch in the corner you have to repeat the same pattern for the entire length now we have to work in the next chain space following the same steps that we have followed for the previous one
you have to repeat the same pattern for all now let's see how to move to the opposite side we will finish this with a slip stitch now we have on the last chain space we have to work 14 double triple crochet following the same steps Now we have completed working 14 double triple crochet. Here for the last one I have worked only one double triple crochet without working 4 chain and slip stitch. So we will have 15 double triple crochet. Now we have to repeat the same steps for the opposite sides and when you come to the end of the work again you have to work 15 double triple crochet Now we came to the end of the work. Here we have repeated the same steps for both the sides. For the right corner we have worked 15 double triple crochet and for the left corner in space you have to repeat the same for 15 times. Now we have completed working the left corner now you have to work one slip stitch and you have to make one chain then finish the work up to this you have to cut the ends and sew them behind the work. Hope you like this video. If you have any doubts you can ask me in comment section. And for more crochet tutorials you can check out my channel playlist. Please do like this video and please do share it with your friends and family members. Also. You please do turn on the notification bell button near the subscribe button to receive all my upcoming videos notifications. You can use this lace pattern if you are working on any crop tops or sweaters you can add them to the bottom line of the sweater or crop top it adds additional beauty and detailing to your work. Also you can use this as a border for your baby blankets. Or you, if you are using any bedspreads or table runner, you can use them 
for borders